Welcome back to Stock Talk Trades. We are going over Bitcoin. If you are interested in staying up to date on your crypto charting and or learn how to do technical analysis, follow this page, you know, subscribe. It helps out the channel a lot. Drop a comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let's get right on with the video. All right, Bitcoin is not looking good. We are below the 21 weekly moving average, exponential moving average, which is a bit like a tell, like the granddaddy of indicators. Again, I changed up my indicators. I have the 50 SMA, 21 EMA, 21 weekly EMA, and 200 SMA. Again, we are on the daily chart. So we want it to, again, pop down. It's popping down and the seller, the buyers brought it back, but the seller's like, no. So we are building up on this support level that I drew in the last video, but we it's not looking good because we do are making, we're making higher lows. We're making lower highs. Yes. Making lower highs. And I did have drawn this uh, downward channel for a while, um, a while ago actually. And I still think that it could, it is valid. And again, look, it's, we're in the grand scheme of things, this is not a crazy pullback. Like from the high, this is a 50% pullback. And from last time, it was a, I'm just going to do it from here, all the way down. It was like a 70% pullback. So we're still doing good. And again, I'm not saying that we're in a bear market now because anything can happen. Let's go ahead and take a peek at the weekly chart. Again, again, we are, a, we did close below that on uh last week which is not good at all and well we need this to close above this 21 moving average 21 weekly exponential moving average in order for it to continue to pop up and go higher but if it doesn't our law our support is at around um forty thousand dollars and if that does not work i do see us coming down to uh, around 30,000, which I know you guys don't want to hear that, but I'm always going to be transparent with you guys. So if it does close below this, we could see it consolidate here and kind of build up on that support level, break down, find resistance, and then potentially break down even more. This is, again, this will happen in the course of a couple months. Not in this, no, that's not how that's going to look. It's going to maybe pull up like this. And again, as it comes down, this is going to start slowing down. So maybe, so as it comes down, we might be looking for that next squeeze up to 80,000. I don't see it hitting 100,000 by the end of the year. This is, this marks the end of the year. This marks the end of next, the end of 2024. I do think we'll hit 100,000 by the end of 2024, if not even more. Because you can see as I drew this, boom, it just, it just makes sense. By the next by next by the next bull run because i did if you look from high to high it's around 1232 days and then if we go from high to high that's around 1230 days again so i do expect us to run up more here than so I, yeah i do think we're going we bitcoin <laughs> i mean i don't want to say it but bitcoin is not looking good i think we did top out and again, everyone's saying, oh, it's going to hit 100,000. It's going to hit 100,000. Everybody started taking their profits at 65. No one expected it. And no one's expecting it to fall. And that's why I am fearful of Bitcoin right now at this moment. Why can't I do that? So, again, it's it's just I don't see it happening very, very soon. I don't see it hitting 100,000 very soon. And what's what price really have to stay above in order for it to uh, still be considered in an uptrend? And use this so in order for it to still be considered in an uptrend it needs to either it needs to stay above this $33,000 level and this $33,000 level will also I mean if it breaks below and then can easily break back and then find support that would be good for coming up and then I would still say we're still in an uptrend but I do not think it will uh I do think it will find support there and maybe continue to go up because if it doesn't, I think the lowest that this will go for the, you know, the stock to flow model, how it's saying Bitcoin, and then it will consolidate for a long, long time. I could hear run up and then kind of just fade out. 
I believe that it will continue to come down to around 20,000. This is not financial advice, it's just my opinion. I think it will come down to around 20,000. And again, look, pull up, touch the 200 SMA. As this comes back down, this 200 SMA is going to slow down. And it needs to touch this. So I'm thinking that it's going to be coming down to around twenty to $30,000. That is my price target for Bitcoin. And it's not what you guys want to hear, but, you know, it's it creates great opportunity for Bitcoin and for altcoins. And I also pair that with the total altcoin market. I'm going to take a look at the daily chart. Again, we're in an uptrend on this altcoin market. And I have a price target for it of like, it continues to pop up here, of like $1.7 trillion. And that would be crazy. $1.7 to $1.8 trillion. That is a good price target, I believe, for this altcoin market. And again, I'm not too sure how this technical analysis works around um, around because this is not an actual crypto. This is a, just a calculation. So, you know, it very well could be just not work, but let's go ahead and take a peek. Since we're in an uptrend, we got to take from the bottom to the low, pulled back to 50%, and then it ran up to uh, it ran up to around 50%. So Fibonacci retracements still work in this situation. Let's go ahead and take a peek at another one. So again, it pulled back to that 50% level. That's very good. That's a very solid retracement. Then we're going to see another run up to, again, that 50% level, that $1.8 trillion level. And that would be absolutely crazy because that would throw in another six hundred billion dollars into the altcoin market, and that could and that's going to be thrown into the top ADA, Matic, Link, XRP, V Chain, H Bar, uh, Ethereum. This is all going to be thrown into the big dogs of the altcoins. So I'm very excited for the for the for the rest of May and through June. Um, it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a nice run for, um, nice run for the altcoin market, and or Bitcoin. I do think it's going to continue to come down. It's man, my charts are crazy, and if you don't follow along, it probably looks fucking stupid weird. But again, this two hundred SMA. Oh, that's uh, we're on the daily. But if we go ahead and take a peek at the weekly, like. It's just not, it's just we need this 200 SMA to continue to, it's going to rise and we're going to come back and pull it eventually. I know we are. So I'm buying a boatload of my Bitcoin at this 200 SMA. And see it, boom, 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 boom. It touches it multiple times. So I'm really looking forward to that touch on the 200 SMA. And whenever it bounces, that is when my buy-in price is. So I am not buying it because I do, we need to pull back to that 200 SMA because we are extremely overextended from the 200 SMA. I just don't see it hitting $100,000, but you know, let me know, let me know down in the comments what your price prediction is for Bitcoin. Thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace. Love y'all.